Hey guys, welcome back. And uh, in this video, we are going to take a look at the Maya and how we can customize its interface. So you see all these panels on the left and the right. These are all undockable. You can undock these panels and place anywhere you want. So as you can see these dots up here, if you click here and just drag it out, then you can place this anywhere you want. And if you want to attach it back to where it was, just select and move it here on the left. And when you see this uh, blue bar, just drop it and it will dock it here. And you can detach this timeline and all these panels and then attach them back to where they were before like this. Now, if you go to all these options, and uh, you use this bevel merge extrude and all these components often in your workflow then what you can do is you can select these dotted bar and it will undock and you can place it anywhere you want so you don't have to go back to the menu all the time and searching for these options and if you're using a second monitor you can place all these options or panels onto your second monitor so that you can have the viewport on your primary display now let's take a look at the panels so right now we are having a perspective view panel in our viewport we can go to panels and uh, here we have uh, some layouts and if you go to layouts and click here let's undock it and uh, here we have the single pane so we have the single perspective view window and we have these two panes side by side so it's going to switch it to two windows and you can set it to anyone you want if you want to set it to perspective you can change it to perspective and uh, this one to right view or top view or front view this comes handy when you're modeling a character so you need front and side view mostly so you can set it to front view and this one to right view and you can also use any of these layouts so if you want three windows you can change it like this and we have four panes so you can set these four windows to front left right top or front top right and perspective so i'm just going to switch it back to a single pane and set it to perspective Now let's go to panels again and uh, here we have some layouts so if you go to panels so you'll see this list of all these layouts so if you want to use your uh, render engine so what you have to do is click here and it will change this window to render view now if you go to panels and uh, layouts and select these two panes side by side so one panel on the right you have now you can change it to perspective view to work and you can change the other panel for rendering or rigging or animation so if you go to panels you can change it to if you are working with some materials and texturing you can change it to hypershade and if you're working with the rendering or rigging or sculpting then you can change this panel to any of these layouts So let's go back to our uh, single pane window. Now, if you go to this panels again and you'll see this tear off. So you can click here and it's going to create a new separate window. You can place it anywhere you want or you can place it on your secondary display if, if you're having one. So you can work here in this window and you can monitor your uh, perspective view or your front view, right view or any view you want on this other window. So you can place it anywhere you want you can place it here like this or you can dock it like this and you can also change these options from this workspace window if you are a modeling artist and you strictly work with modeling tools you can change this workspace to modeling standard or modeling expert now it's going to show you the tools you need for modeling only it's going to remove that timeline so you can uh, change it to modeling if you are a modeling artist and if you're working with animation then you can change it to animation or uh, rigging and if you are rendering then you can change it to rendering it's going to give you 
a window with your perspective viewport and uh, on the side here you'll get this render setup and you can also save this space if i go back to general and uh, so if i'm a modeling artist i don't need this timeline and i'm going to close it but uh, i do need this console bar here so i'm just going to keep it and uh, i can also uh, remove some of these panels and if i want to save this layout what i can do is we can go back to this workspace and click here save current workspace as let's save it to modeling custom and uh, hit ok and uh, if you change it to suppose modeling expert and you want to go back to that layout you just created just go here and uh, select this modeling custom and you can also reset this so you can delete this workspace like this and it's going to change it to general so that's it for this video and I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.